Hello, my name is Willem and I want to share with you a dream that I had a few months ago and after the dream I asked the Lord what must I do with this dream and I felt in my spirit that the Lord was telling me to go and share your dream, tell your dream to as many people as you can and then there's a question that you have to ask them and that is what I've been doing for the last six seven months since my dream and I just feel I need to do more and that is why I'm sending out this video because I want to do it on this video and I want to post this video on YouTube and see how many people can I can I share with my dream with on YouTube and then take it from there as well now the dream I had was on the 8th of May 2021 I was dreaming one night that I, I I dreamt that we were a small group of people and that we have a Bible study it was a Bible study group small group of people about was it 10 12 people or so in the group and we were talking about the end times and the signs of the end times and things like that after this dream I went and I did quite a bit of uh, self-study on this subject and looked at a lot of the prophecies Old Testament prophecies from the prophets Daniel Isaiah Ezekiel um, and then in Revelation, Psalms, all of those prophecies that talks about the end times and the signs and things like that. But my dream, at the time of my dream, I did not do a lot of those things. I just had this dream one night and the dream was that we had in this small group Bible study, we talked about these things the end times and always when you talk about things like that and it happened in the dream as well when you talk about the end times and and what is the next event that must take place according to God's calendar when we look at God's calendar that is laid out for us in the Bible of the events that's passed where we are now and what is the events that's going to come the next event that needs to take place is the rapture and when we talk about the rapture of the church then the question always always comes up when is that going to happen when do you think now the bible is very clear about that that nobody knows the day and the hour but in the same time we can look at signs and prophecies and things in what season we are and where are we in this timeline of events that need to happen and we know that the next thing that needs to happen is the rapture so in my dream we had this small group discussion about it the question was came up when is the rapture we talked about it and nobody knows and there was no answer about it and I dreamt that after this discussion we went to bed everybody went to bed and things like that and we're going to follow the next day we're going to carry on with this this small group discussion and we went to bed and and there I had a dream again so now I'm having a dream in a dream so and in this dream I dreamt that I was standing in heaven or somewhere I was standing somewhere and I having a conversation with Jesus himself now I must also say this is the second time in my life that I had a dream where I was standing having a conversation with Jesus. The first time was about six years ago um, that I had a dream like that and it made such an impact in my life that I, I had a tattoo <laughs> put on my arm that says imagine heaven because the dream at the time and the conversation that I had was about heaven. And maybe one day I will, I will share that dream as well. But here again I was standing sort of in the same, same scene where I was standing having a conversation with Jesus. And I asked Jesus, now when is this rapture going to take place? And right at the time there, 
Jesus said to me, it's going to take place in two months time. And I thought, whoa, that is very quickly and that's very definite. But I also know that nobody knows the day and the hour and things like that. So I said to the Lord, well, you know, <laughs> two months is very direct, it's very precise. Um, that gives us a day and an hour. And, and how can I now go back tomorrow morning to the group and, you know, and tell them, listen, I know the answer. I had a dream and I know it's going to be in two months time or whatever. You know, it's, it's just not going to work. You know, who am I to have this dream and have this information? And I was having this conversation with Jesus. I said, you know, is there a way that this can be confirmed before my dream? But what was interesting about this dream, the dream that I had in the dream and while I was dreaming the first dream as well, what's very interesting about it was that while I was having this dream, doesn't matter what level of the dream I was in, I was aware of the fact that I was dreaming. In other words, I knew, I was aware of the fact that I'm sleeping, I'm lying in my bed, in Sedgefield, in the bed, and I am having a dream about this. This is a dream. So anyway, I asked Jesus in the dream, can this be confirmed? And he said to me, don't worry, tomorrow morning you will bump into somebody that's going to confirm it for you. And as it is in a dream, the next thing I, it's now out of the dream, it's now back in the first first dream where I'm not sleeping anymore and the next minute I bumped into somebody a guy that I physically bumped into him to the point where he actually fell over backwards and he was lying on the on the ground and he was lying like on his elbows it was very clear and he looked up at me and he said to me <laughs> he said to me I had a dream last night about the rapture and I know when it's going to be and there I was standing and I'm thinking well Yes, me too. And if this is the confirmation that I'm going to get, I'm not going to tell him what I dreamt. He must tell me. And if it's exactly the same as I dreamt, then, then I know this is the confirmation of my dream. So I said to him, well, what was your dream? When, when is this going to take place? And he said to me, he lift up his one arm and he pointed two fingers to me and he said, two months, in two months' time. And I thought, wow, that is that is the that is the um, the confirmation. And like I said, I was so aware of the fact that I was dreaming, and I was standing there, and I'm thinking, okay, now I had this dream about it. I'm still dreaming, and I have this thing con confirmed for me. And now I am lying there, and I'm thinking, now, you know what? Now, and I and my dream didn't carry on. To the point where we have the the small group discussion again the next minute i was just still thinking about this time and this event and this dream and the next minute i realized that i'm awake i'm i'm looking around i'm i'm not in the dream anymore but i'm awake now but i'm still busy with that in my head so it wasn't like I was fast asleep and I had this dream and I woke up and I thought, whoa, that was funny, that was a wild dream. It was like I was just I was just awake and I was still busy with these thoughts. And I was lying there in bed and I asked the Lord, okay, now what do I do with this dream? Okay, then the next minute I was I thought about something else. I'm not going to share that now because that's just going to confuse things. It's not, not really important. But I asked the Lord now, well, what must I do with this dream now? And there was no loud voice. There was no writing on the wall. There was no angel that appeared to me or nothing but... What I felt in my spirit is that the Lord said to me, go and tell as many people as you can about your dream. And then, after you told them about your dream, you must ask the question, if the rapture takes place soon in your life, in the next couple of days or weeks or months, or in your lifetime, if the rapture takes place in your lifetime, 
where does it leave you? Are you going to go with or are you going to stay behind? And that is the question that every person need to ask himself and need to be clear and understand what that means. What is the rapture? What qualifies me to go with? And the reason I'm making this video now only, I mean, the dream was in May last year. What is that? Five, six, seven months ago. Uh, <clears throat> and two months is long past. And I don't have a problem with the two months because the two months, even that time, I know that uh, we don't have the time, the day and the hour. And even in a year from now, I can still share my dream and say, two months because it can happen in as fast as in the next two months so two months didn't mean a day and an hour but it means it is soon it is as soon as two months this can happen and but the important thing is not the two months and when it's going to happen the important thing is it is going to happen <laughs> that is a given the rapture is going to happen and we are very very clear very near and I believe it's going to definitely be in my lifetime. The question for you is, if it happens today or tomorrow or next week, where are you going? Are you going with in the rapture or are you going to stay behind? And like I said earlier on, the reason why I'm doing this video now and why I'm just going to send it out is that in the last eight months that I'm sharing this, and I can tell you now, I have shared with, uh, with hundreds of people. I went to churches, to pastors, especially in the colored community, went to pastors, I shared with them my dream I had, and they all invited me and gave me opportunity to come and share it in their churches from the pulpit. I had pulpits that I had the opportunity to go and share my dream because and what I want to say is, the reason I'm making this is because what I've learned and what I've seen and my experience over the last eight months sharing this to as many people as I can, the percentage of people that don't even know what the rapture is and has got no idea what it is and they've got no idea of when it's going to happen because they don't know even when it's going to happen if they don't even know what it is how can they know when it's going to happen and that makes me want to share this with as many people as I can still continue and I share this because we need to talk about the rapture or the rapture is the most important event in the life of a Christian today. It is the next event. The rapture brings the church phase of which we are in now. We are in the church phase and the church phase started when Jesus ascended to heaven after his resurrection. He went to heaven and he left the church behind. And the church was these disciples that followed him and that carried on to spread the good news of the gospel and they plant the churches all over the world and that is the church phase we are in the church phase but the event that's going to bring an end to the church phase is the rapture because after the rapture the church is gone the church is not on the earth anymore and that will bring the end to the church phase that is such an important event because it will affect every person in this world. For good or for bad. For good, those that are part of the church, Jesus says, the church will be taken away, but will be raptured. Or, in other verses, Jesus called us his bride. We are the church, he's the bride of Christ. And he said he's going to come back for her. He's going to come back and snatch her away. I will share some of these videos or, or scripture references. Um, so that is the church. We'll be gone. So that's the good news for everyone that are born again, that are part of the church, or that is part of the bride of Christ. You will be gone. You will be out of here. 
but the way it's going to affect the rest of the world is soon after the rapture very very soon after the rapture the seven year tribulation period is going to start the rapture is not the starting point of the tribulation what we see in scripture what starts the tribulation is a peace treaty that is signed by the Antichrist with Israel for seven years and that is the beginning of the seven year tribulation now that can happen either just before but I don't think before because the church the bride of Christ will not know who the Antichrist is we can guess and we can try and figure it out or something but we won't see him we won't know it because we will when he comes to the fore and when he rise up we will be out of here because there's also the scripture that tells us that the restrictor which is the Holy Spirit in the church in believers have to be removed before he can rise up and so how we are removed how this restrictor is being removed for the antichrist to rise up is by the rapture so we'll be gone the antichrist will rise up he will sign a peace treaty with Egypt, with with israel and that peace the signing of that peace treaty is the beginning of the seven year tribulation and then it is only seven years but seven years for us that will be gone the bride we will be in heaven for the bridal feast but for the people on earth it's going to be a very very tough time it's going to be the seven years of tribulation of which the first three and a half years will not be that bad but the second three and a half years but if I say will not be that bad I mean it's going to be bad there's going to be earthquakes and pestilences and famine and people dying and a lot of things happening even in that first three and a half years but the second three and a half years is going to be persecution from the Antichrist because he will rise up three and a half years in he will rise up and declare himself God and that he needs to be worshipped and if you don't do that your head will be cut off and that's going to be very very it's it's three and a half years and the Bible tells us that lest God shorten that time no man will survive in other words what it's saying is if God didn't shorten that time to only three and a half years the last three and a half years of the tribulation then no man would have survived it because it's going to be that intense that bad and you don't want to be saying behind but the rapture is also going to be the event that is causing that's going to cause the biggest um, revival ever the biggest revival ever is going to be caused by the rapture because I tell you if millions of people is gone disappeared overnight and everybody realized especially those that have that have heard about it before they will all realize that what those people were talking about the rapture Jesus his bride the church being born again all of those things what they were talking about is true and they will turn to Jesus but it is most probably going to cost them their lives because it's going to be difficult during that time they will be saved they will turn to Jesus they will be saved but it's going to be difficult so that is the reason why I'm making this video and I can see now this video is already 19 minutes I wanted to share a lot of the scriptures maybe I'll make some more videos I don't know um, where I can share the scriptures of the things I'm saying the signs I can talk more about the signs of the end time I can talk more about the prophecies that is that we see we see in 
the things happening today in the world, the wars, the rumors of wars, the, the signs in the heavens, the, the pestilences, <laughs> the earthquakes, the, all of those things are the things. Jesus said there's five things in Luke 21, in Matthew 24, in Mark 13. Jesus says there's five things. If you see these things, look up because your redemption is near. And those things are wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes, pestilences, and famine. And we see all five of these things happening on a daily basis. It is never before in history have these five signs, these five things happened so, so rampantly all together at the same time like now never before has it happened i also believe that we are living in the generation that will see all of these things come to pass or happening before because jesus said in the parable of the fig tree where the fig tree is symbol of israel when israel become a nation in 1947 1947, yeah, 47, 48, 1947, Israel became a nation. I think 13 May 1947, Israel was born again, fulfilling a prophecy that says, Can a nation be born in one day? And Israel was born again in one day, back in their land, speaking their language, all of that, a nation again. And Jesus talking about the fig tree, meaning when that blossom, meaning that Israel being born again that day started the countdown towards the end that we are in the end times and he said about that generation shall not pass away until they have seen all of these things happen and that is everything since then since 1947 everything until some say the rapture and some say seven years later the return of Jesus the second coming when he comes to rule and reign on this earth for a thousand years and us with him and that's good news that is such good news you will man it is good news and do not be troubled by the things happening all these signs and the things we see happening because Jesus said don't be troubled by these things Paul writes to the Thessalonians or Corinthians Corinthians he wrote them he says don't be con don't, don't be troubled about these things because these things must happen it must happen but when you see these things he says encourage one another with these words because when we see these things happening, we must look up, we must be excited because we must know that the redemption is near, that the rapture is near, it's at the door. And that is why we need to go out there and tell people about the rapture because that is the next event that must take place and so few people know about it. They've got no idea what it is and whenever it's gonna take place. They've got no idea that it is even gonna take place in their lifetime that it could take place in their lifetime and then if you try and if you explain it to them what it is and you ask the question well if it happens today let's say it happens today or tomorrow or next week are you going to go with or are you going to stay behind and they've got no idea they don't know what qualifies me to go with and that is a video of another time because this video is already almost 25 minutes long so I will make another video about talking about what qualifies me to go with and not stay behind when the rapture takes place okay that's all from me right now so see you again in the next video bye